morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse, please, from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. <clears throat> it says this, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty with which Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And the simple heading is this, friends, He who the Son sets free is free indeed. Isn't it marvellous to know this morning that if Christ has set you free, that we need not be entangled with the things of this world anymore, for He will not only set us free, but He will keep us free. And He is able to be your freedom this day. You see, there may be someone who is listening this morning, and you find yourself a prisoner. Oh, you're not a prisoner in some physical prison. But it may be that you're in a spiritual prison. You are bound by all sorts of sins and all sorts of habits. Then truly this verse is for you. For he is able, Christ is able to set you free today. This morning your freedom is found through the word of God. Our text says that Christ has made us free. Set us free from bondage. True freedom, friends, can be yours today. And to the believer, Isaiah says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. When the, through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, they shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. And God welcomes us this morning, friends, to partake of his divine promise. To partake of his divine freedom. And you will find that all heaven's resources are available to, for you right now, this very day. There is not one promise that will fail you of all God's word, and not one promise that he will withhold from you as you serve him and follow him in an upright way. In your deepest trials, he is there, and he will set you free when the fiercest storms will come your way. He will simply say those words, Be of good cheer. Fear not, for I am with thee. He will bring calm in the midst of turmoil. When sorrow comes, he will be your comfort. And freedom is yours at all times and all situations in Christ. You see, we are given access to the throne of grace. And it is our privilege to partake of his grace. Remember it was Paul who said, his grace is sufficient for you today. And I thank God that his grace is still sufficient and his grace hasn't changed. However deep your sin, he is able to pardon it. However poor we may be, however poor we may be, we can know his riches. For he will supply all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. We are able to call upon the Lord in the day of trouble. We are able to call upon the Lord in the midnight experiences of our lives. And he tells us if we call upon him, he will deliver you. Not he may, he will deliver you. He will set you free. What greater assurance can you or me desire this day? What freedom is ours this day? As I consider this great freedom, friends, I think of that wonderful hymn. It says this, freedom from sin. Oh, wonderful story. All of its stains washed whiter than snow. Jesus has come to live in his temple. And with his love, my heart is aglow. True freedom, friends, in Christ. Freedom from condemnation. Freedom from all the pro freedom to all the promises of God. Freedom to the throne of grace. And one day soon, freedom to enter into heaven above. Truly, he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Enjoy the freedom that only Christ can give. And may God bless each and every one. Look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning. God bless you.